Hello and welcome to the One Man Renegade Productions YouTube channel. I'm your host, Yonah Berg B, and it's Friday, so you know what that means. It's time for another Fairfield Friday video. We got another field goal box. This is the 20th and penul penultimate uh, field goal box. I only have one more after this, I think, unless I'm... Uh, unless I come across some that I forgot where, or where they are, but I do have one more that will open up at some point in the next couple of weeks or probably. But if you missed any of the previous Fairfield Fridays, uh, head up there, check them out. While you're at it, head on down, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, the thumbs up, like the video, hit that share button, share this with you know. Head over in the comments and tell me, do you still have some of these hanging around in your collection? Did you ever buy any of these? Did you ever open these? Did you get anything good out of them? Let me know. And then check out the links in the description for my blog, podcast, other social media, as well as my eBay, where I may or may not have anything for sale right now. But go check it out anyways. If I do buy something, make an offer. If I don't, save me as a seller and come back later when I do have some stuff and then buy and make offers then. All right. So, yeah. Field goal box. Again, I only have one more left after this one. Uh, if you haven't watched the videos before, you get uh, these were boxes that they had up for sale a couple years ago and before that. I can't, they, I don't think they exist anymore. Uh, but Fairfield Company uh, put these out. You get three packs, <clears throat> a hobby pack, an autograph, and a memorabilia. Uh, they also did the hot corner boxes, the, which is the baseball version. And I, I think there were basketball and hockey versions at some point. I never got any of them. I never saw them or got any of them. But I did hear of them maybe existing at some point. So, uh, But I've never seen them. Um, all right, so let's see what we get. In this box, uh, we got, oh, I don't want to spoil, kind of spoiled that. We got a 2013 Elite. We got 2020 Leaf Draft, which I think these were in pretty much every single one of these boxes. Then we got 2015 Donruss, and, or sorry, Score, and then 2016 Score. So those, those are typical. So I guess, is this the hobby pack? Maybe? I don't know. How, how do you tell? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm guessing this is the hobby pack, but I could be wrong. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's start off. Let's go in chronological order, and then we'll reveal the hits as well, unless I accidentally showed a, showed it, sort of. I didn't see what it was, but maybe you did. Uh, so, but whatever. All right, so 2013 uh, Elite. Got Joe Flacco. Uh, David Wilson, Earl Campbell, running back, passing the torch, uh, Denarius Moore, and Des Bryant. All right, moving on, we've got 2015 uh, score. See what we can find out of here. I feel like these have been the 2015 and 2016 score. Been in a lot of these boxes. Not all of them, but a lot of them. Uh, we got uh, Earl Thomas. We got Tony Romo, of course, doing the uh, commentary these days. We got Reggie Bush, Aldon Smith, Austin Davis, Mario Williams, sophomore selections, Jarvis Landry. Uh, I think that's, <laughs> excuse me, the gold version. Stefan Diggs, rookie. That's a decent one. Tyler Lockett, another decent one. That's a couple decent rookie uh, wide receivers there. Uh, and Deontay Greenberry. Can't say I know too much about Deontay Greenberry. You got team leaders of the Bengals and another sophomore selection, Trey, Ma Trey Mason, and a kid reporter, which is long since expired. All right, moving on to 2016 score. Um, let's see what we can find in here. Got Brian Hartline, uh, Reggie Nelson. Got Tom Brady. There he is. Tom Brady, back when he's still with the Patriots, even though they still make cards of him and the Patriots, like, all the time. Like, it's like he's been on Tampa for a couple years now. You're still making Brady... Why are you still making Brady at Patriots? Uh, I mean, I'm not going to complain about it, necessarily, but I'm just confused about it. Robert Quinn, uh, Todd Gurley, the second. Uh, Chris Ivory franchise green version. They had Jameis Winston sidelines... Uh, maybe gold version? I'm not sure. I think so. I'm not sure. Uh, franchise, uh, Jason Witten. We got Harrison Smith, uh, Stoppers. Our rookies are going to be Josh Doxson, 
Jordan Howard and CJ Procease, 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 something like that. All right, all right, before we get to the leap <laughs> draft, show off the hits that I kind of already spoiled. We had Dante Foreman, Crown Royal, Rookie Silhouette, uh, Jersey, Swatch, Patch, whatever card. And then our autograph is going to be Anthony Gonzalez. Um, not to be this is Tony Gonzalez. This is the other Gonzalez, Anthony Gonzalez. Um, yeah. You know, I think the weird thing about this card... I think I have this card already. I want to say I do. Uh, maybe it wasn't an autograph, but I definitely remember having his this this card, this rookie card. But it might it might, it might not have been the Chrome version. I don't know. I feel like I definitely have a version of this card. I don't know if it's the autograph, but it might be. I don't know. I'm not going to look, look back. I mean, obviously, it's nothing amazing, but still, someone I heard of, anyways. You know, he had a couple decent years with the the Colts, I think, and then I don't know where else he went, but. It was always funny. It's like Anthony Gonzalez. It's like no, not Tony Gonzalez. Anthony Gonzalez, uh -oh, wide receiver there. All right, we're moving on. Twenty twenty leap. Like I said, I feel like there's been one of these those in every single one of these boxes I've opened. Donovan Peoples jo uh, Jones, Jalen Ragor, Jonathan Taylor, gold. That's nice. Justin Herbert, nice, not a nice one. J.K. Dobbins, rounding things out there for that pack. So yeah, I mean. I don't know, like, I've always enjoyed opening these, you know, they're not the greatest packs in the world or whatever, the hits can be, eh, um, for sure, but they're always fun to open, you never know what you can find in these, so I enjoy it, so we got one left, it's gonna be a sad day when I finally finish that uh, last one next, uh, next week, I don't know if it's next week, whenever, and if, in some, some point in the next few weeks probably, I will get around to opening the final, uh, field goal box um but that's not gonna do it for fair field fry i might be out of hot corner boxes i might be out of field goal boxes but i do have some of those pharmacy boxes they put out which have varying degrees of success depending on which year they're from and i know i have some that i bought maybe last year and maybe a couple years ago i don't know whatever we'll get to them at some point so fair field friday not completely going away but it's definitely winding down for sure um but mystery fridays will not stop i have plenty of other mystery type products to open so Thank you, everyone, for watching. Uh, come back later on today for Free For All Friday. Uh, I think I'm opening a mega box of 2021 Donruss Optic Baseball. So, see what we can find in there. And then uh, come back every day. I got videos posted every day. Uh, just all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button, hit the little notification bell, you get the little notification. The video is up and ready to watch. Come over, watch it, like it, share it, comment on it, all that fun stuff. Keyword, there's fun, just having fun here in the channel. Opening. Cards, opening packs, talking, looking at cards, talking about sports and all that fun stuff. Keyword there is fun. Uh, just having fun here on the channel. Um, yeah. Uh, so <laughs> thank you everyone for watching. Stay safe. Have fun. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Friday and head into the weekend. And we'll talk to you next time. Bye.